Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, yeah. all right. So are we, are we both at the same time? Yeah, we, yeah, I'm not doing it solo, bro. All right. <laughs> look at you. Yeah. All right, so the question is, what would the world look like without black people? Whoa. <laughs> That's a hard question. Oh, wow. <laughs> without black people. Um, well, first of all, I wouldn't be here. I mean, we wouldn't have a president. It would look all white. <laughs> the world would look like Hollywood, I think. Be kind of bland, kind of vanilla. <laughs> Music, as we know, it, would not exist. I don't know what my soul would be like without Brian McKnight. There would be no hip hop. Oh, crap. That would suck. That would suck a lot, because I love hip hop. <laughs> Listen, oh, yeah. if, if, if people love black people as much as they love black culture, everything will be fine. Everyone loves yeah. black culture. Yeah. They, 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 love, they, love they love black culture, but when it comes to black people, they're kind of, let me, let me grab my kid, let me touch my purse a little tighter. Yeah. Growing up, there was a white kid who told me that he didn't want to play with me because my skin was dirty. And I came home and I told my mom, uh, mom, wash my skin so I could play with all the other kids. I can tell you how many times I've been asked, oh, you know, deliver this, wheel this around, that I'm a delivery person, I am, you know, the patient transport person. I'm not a medical student who's there to sort of care for patients. We've been put inside of this box that we can only be ignorant, that we can only come from single parent homes, that we can only uh, participate in gangs. The truth is, is that being black in America is like walking through the store and people are scared of you or being stopped by law enforcement for no real good reason when we have dreadlocks or braids. If a black guy has a hoodie on. They see thug, no matter what, so. We have a 14 year old and um, we've had to have some really difficult conversations with him. I think it was the first time I got my driver's license, right? You're taught, your mom will sit you down and tell you, look. If a police officer stops you, this is what you're supposed to say. Don't reach into your glove compartment to try and get your license or your registration because, you know, if they think you have a weapon, you know, you can get shot. Because at the end of the day, I really don't care. I just want you to come home to me, right? I do work with a lot of black, young black men. Um, I mean, these young, and these young men are beautiful in every sense of the way. I think when I work with them, it, you know, it's emotional because, because the way that I experience them it's completely different than the way that people portray them. As hard as it is to, um, to have conversations about racial tensions, I think that it's needed. Do you feel like you have racist thoughts? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's... It's in me. Um, I know, and as much as I want to say the right answer, and I know it's wrong, it's there. We know them I and we have these sort of snap judgments about people and I have them too, I can't really help it. Um, you know, I do my best to try and recognize when that's happening um, and try and fight it and try and talk about it. I think it can get better than it is. I think we can do better. Not all cops are bad, not all black people are thugs. Get to know somebody that doesn't look like you you know, worship next to somebody who doesn't look like you. Um, share a meal with somebody who doesn't look like you and come with no expectations. Then you'll see who we are. That's all it is. <laughs>
I, I'm a teacher and I tell my, my kids all the time is we're just a, a unique beauty, the beauty that God, God created. And um, if we embrace each other, knowing that we're really all brothers and sisters, I mean, this world can be so different, really good.